Hello dear friends, in this video we talk about uh, brushes and uh, recently I got some friends, graphic, uh, not graphic artists, uh, the, um, the uh, comic book artists and asking about my brush. So I am thinking I make a particular set only for uh, comic book artists because there are some special requirement for to make the comic book very comic book art or artists very unique and very special first they need very sleek very slender and very uh, consistent line as far as what i can i can see from the comic books so i have this um, better hair brush and you can feel it's uh, it's uh, stiff and it can keep a long and slender and uh, and uh, a wavy line i will make a demo this is a little bit smaller than that one but the same thing you can see the tip is very thin we go up closer zoom in a little bit so you can see the line it's very very small you can see the line you can get a very very thin line as thin as you can and keep it consistent and this is not um, normal paper so it shows the line a little bit different from the real line the real line the real line on paper will be even thinner so you can keep a consistent line and if you want to make it a little bit of uh, a wave you can wave the brush a little bit so get a certain shape of the line oh oh sorry we are out of the edge i will do it again here let's see this line i want to make it thin fat by moving around this brush you can get a little bit thicker line but still it's always quite consistent this line you can see until one here so I'm thinking this will be a good um, brush for the eye eyebrow you can deep decide how strong you put your your hand press your hand to get the eye the line right so this is the line and for the building line construction line you can have a very consistent and beautiful strength for line. So this one is a strong hair, a better hair brush. And another one is this uh, um, gold and uh, wolf hair combined. It's uh, a mixture of hard and soft and still very slender. You can see it is much softer and the line is much more um, softer and smooth yeah. um, what do we say it's um, it might be good for feminine shape because it's uh, it's just naturally have this uh, soft line very it naturally have uh, a softness in this hair and another one is this um, uh, little white cloud because it's very good for wash. I will find an opened brush. And this one is pure wolf hair and it's very stiff, very strong to do some big um, muscle line or, or moustache, not moustache, the, the beard, uh, the hair or something quite solid and strong. Let me find a two of this already opened up. Hmm. So 
So I am sinking these four brushes for one set. And this is the this is a little bit larger, but uh, white cloud brush. So you can s feel it's uh, so soft. It's so good for applying color and just uh, very nicely, smoothly apply color. Apply a layer of wash. And uh, that uh, wood here, I, I didn't wash this, so it's a, a much stronger hair relatively like this but i do not want to cheat you do -de -do -de 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 a little bit like um, let's see this one is the same strength of that one so you can see it has a very strong same like this one has a, a strong and solid uh, strength by itself it's good for some cha 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 line okay so i am preparing a set of brushes one two three four four of these brushes particularly for <coughs> Uh, the um, comic book artists so there is a soft big soft small soft outline big uh, uh, stiff and uh, small stiff outline so and I, I do not put too big brushes I think comic book does not need too big brushes okay these is the set of comic book uh, brushes and here we are looking at the ink and ink stone and in for comic book i think one of the important thing one of the most important thing is um, mm, uh, apart from the brush is the the ink and you need really good quality ink and this ink cannot be diluted and cannot be from uh, um, from liquid ink, uh, uh, liquid ink, uh, uh, liquid ink. So the best thing is to you grind the ink. You can grind ink if money is a concern. Use this kind of uh, rectangular shape uh, ink stone. If money is not a concern, use a round one. And uh, the quality of the ink, uh, the quality of the ink, the, the, the quality of the ink you get is not that much difference. It's just uh, the amount you, you get from, from grinding. And uh, you use a good ink stick. Do not use cheap ink stick. This one is 101 ink stick and uh, the ink comes out by grinding comes out um, black, glossy, oily, bright. It's just so, so beautiful. And uh, you want to get pure and uh, intense black, right? And sometimes you get different shade of black, 50 shade of black or even more shade of black by adding water and you want to add water into this good quality ink so if money is a concern buy a good quality ink stick i will put this one on uh, this one is around 20 dollar something a good quality ink stick and uh, an ink stone whichever shape this one is sufficient to, for, for, for grinding if money is a, if your budget is a concern. So this video is for, for comic artists particularly. If you, if you care to, to get some supply from, uh, a, a supply idea from me or, or get a supply from me, whatever, I really appreciate any artist. I, I appreciate any artist and uh, 
whoever artist artist come to to my side is a great 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 honor for me. I'm trying my very best with my knowledge to 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 make everybody's life easier. So good brush, just a suitable brush, not too big, not too small. Suitable brush and. Uh, and a good quality ink stick, that's important. Anyway, thank you very much. I hope this video can help you a teeny tiny little bit. Bye bye.